Yeah, there's no gameplay demo. I think the Neo CD version has a gameplay demo. And it doesn't have the Neo Geo startup screen for some reason. But like, I think they added in a how to play thing on the, uh, on the Neo CD version. All right, let's, this game has a lot of lore. It's all, uh, it's all spoken dialogue. I'll try to be quiet during it. Emergency control of hero. Dr. R. Muckley, an ex-U.S. Army scientist, has been kidnapped by possible Northside terrorists and taken to Nam's backwoods. So now we, a special force unit, have been organized to rescue him. Go up the Yon River to deceive enemy guard. So I think one thing they were pushing for with the Neo Geo was just like, we've got so much storage space. We can have, like, full dialogue for our cutscenes. Because that wasn't really a... That wasn't really a common thing in 1990. It started to become more of a common thing with, like, the, uh... The TurboGrafx-16 CD. And we got winners like, uh, Last Alert. But, of course, this is all on cartridge, and they had plenty of, uh... Plenty of space to work with, so... How are you? I'm fine! It doesn't matter if you use a lot of space on, the uh, spoken dialogue. Anyway, this is... Oh, there's a flamethrower. Here's the thing about flamethrowers in video games. They're either really good or really bad. Flamethrower in this game is fucking awful. Don't pick it up. This is a game we call, uh... We usually call this a crosshair shooter. Because you're using a, a crosshair to shoot enemies, but you're also... You're also controlling the dude at the same time. When you hold the fire button down, you can... You, you keep yourself in place and get automatic, uh... uh Auto-fire. So you have to you have to let go of the fire button to actually like move around. B button throws grenades, and C button is what you really need to master in this game. That's the uh, emergency control of hero. If you hold C and then press left or right, you run, which is obviously way faster for getting across the screen quickly. If you hit down left or down right, you do an emergency roll, which you're completely invincible during but you are vulnerable coming out of it. So you kind of have to, like, learn the proper distance of the roll. And hope to God there's not a bullet waiting for you when you come out of it. Because it's always one hit and you're dead in this game. There are there are some extends, though. You get, you get extra lives at 100,000, 200,000. And there's a, a one-up on the final stage you can pick up, giving you a total of six lives to work with. This game, of course, was on the, uh, the six-slot cabinet that my local gold mine arcade had. It was the second game I played on it, after Magician Lord, of course. I should have killed the fat guy first. I missed out on some points there. Oh well. This is Firebird. Headquarters. Over. We've been sighted. We'll abandon boat and go through Donang City. Over. So. How did they know? Did I get the random boss? I did not. After each of the four sta the first four stages, there's a random chance to encounter a uh, an extra boss. Sometimes you'll get all four in one game, sometimes you might not get any. Most of the time you'll get, like, a, a couple. I know 05 Pro was, like, trying to figure out how to how to get them to show up. I couldn't get, like, what he was doing to work, so I'm still not sure how to do it. Anyway, I just, uh, I just saved Not Pink. She's 
got a bouncing booty. Her name is Chris Helper. She's, uh, she's born to help. And she's invincible, but if you die, she runs away, because she's not a fan of corpses. But basically, she just spreads her machine gun back and forth, not really aiming at anything. Oh, the enemies learn that doing backflips make you invincible, too. That's how real life works. Chris Helper is also featured quite prominently in the, uh, the uh, cover artwork for this game, too. Despite not being a playable character. Yeah, somebody at SNK was really into uh, long-haired blonde women. Considering there, there's pink clones in League Bowling and, and Street Smart. She's at least got a different outfit here, but if you've ever seen the uh, the girls that like show up in Street Smart, one of them is like a dead ringer for pink. Like, exactly. I mean, yeah, who can blame them? <laughs> God, I'm still mad about the Super Spy. Ah, I'll get it next time. Anyway, I picked up a... I picked up an item on the stage that actually gives you double crosshairs, which is pretty nice. It actually throws double bombs, and I have the, uh, the Super Bombs ready to go. Stream Smith, thank you for the 26 months. Alright, this boss is kind of random. It has some random attack phases. For which ones it decides to do in a random order. Whoa! Yeah, here's where you gotta start mastering the, uh, mastering the roll. Unfortunately, Chris will not return for the next stage. Information from headquarters. Group strategy. Contact Allied plane and invade by parachute. Also no extra boss here. We're going for the speedrun, I guess. Except I'm letting the cutscenes play. <laughs> Worst speedrun ever. Not that there's really much ways to save time in a game that like automatically scrolls everything, other than kill stuff faster. So the plane I was on just blew up, but or part of it blew up, but it'll be fine. Also, check out that scaling. The guys like falling to their death. Remember what I said about them wanting to push uh, sprite scaling in those uh, those first generation Neo Geo games? Oh boy, did they do it here! Yeah, that's why. Uh, I'm so fascinated by these like, these first generation uh, Neo Geo games, Electric Boogaloo, Funk. They, like, they were trying a bunch of different genres here. Like they weren't really uh, they weren't really sure what would stick. Like they were trying to make the system appealing, so they were going for a bunch of different games. And you got it. Got weird experiments like the Super Spy. But then Street Fighter 2 came out, and SNK said, "Fuck it, fighting games." And to be fair, they made some good fighting games, but... These early games are very interesting to me. Duh. I mean, fighting games are what made, uh, made arcades money. That's what kept the system kicking for like, uh, 13 or 14 years. Anyway, this is technically the boss, but it's a big-ass plane, and I can't destroy it yet. It's like the, uh, 
the R-Type Stage 3 Big Battleship Stage. Yeah, I still think what happened with Fatal Fury 1 is that, like, they were... It felt like they were making Street Smart 2, but then, then Street Fighter 2 came out and they kind of retooled it a bit. I don't know if that's true, but the fact that it straight up has the old music from Street Smart if you, uh, if you want to see the game is kind of a giveaway. But yeah, I'm going to, uh, not in this stream, but I do want to do a Neo Geo stream of, like, a lot of the, a lot of the fighting games, like, most of the Fatal Furies. I don't, I don't have strats for Fatal Fury 3, I gotta learn that one. And as many KOFs as I can do, but that probably won't happen for a while yet. Uh, I did this wrong. I gotta kill that helicopter, there we go. Helicopter drops the double crosshair. Oh god. Oh, the dancing fat man. He's down. He's up. He can't stop dancing. He's down. Oop. Still not at the actual boss part yet. can't get that point item. There's some weird shit here with the uh, the bonus items. Like, it feels like just shooting random parts will make uh, make point items appear. Although there's there's some way to, like, trigger, like... You can trigger a 1-up on this stage somehow. I've seen a video of it, but I have no idea how you do it. This game still has some, some mysterious secrets. Also, some of those bullet holes just, uh, healed themselves up. Anyway, this is the actual boss, this engine slash wing. I'm never sure where these are gonna go. It's still fuck me up. We landed safely. Now we will attack the airport. There is a spy among us. But it's in the middle helicopter at the start of the stage? I thought I blew it up. Oh, I got one of the random bosses. Which one is this? Is this the steamrollers? What next? So your bombs refill here, and they refill after you're done with this. I don't know how I ended up in this warehouse. Yep. And then we just go to the next stage. Oh man, give me that Balkan gun. Not Vulcan. Vulcan. That's a weird mistranslation. S and Kaglish was always a thing. Uh oh. Where are you at, Chris Helper? There she is. Oh, thank you. Got some more booty bopping for the stage. Alright, let's use the, use the big grenades here. These planes have really weird hitboxes. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, Balka, not Balky. <laughs> well played, Chiba. All those point items. Oh, I have one more super bomb. guys in the bolt fruit vests. I like to throw bombs at them. I should have enough for this stage. Luckily a lot of enemies, like their the uh, the radius at which they fire is not very wide. It's... I rolled into a bomb and Chris Hopper's gone. I didn't miss the, the Balkan, did I? There it is. I should be fine for the boss, though. Uh. Alright, this boss, you want to take out the soldiers on the left first. Then right. And get ready for the, the greatest cutscene on the Neo Geo. Also, this guy's a fucking joke. He does have a really good animation where he laughs at you if he actually kills you, though. He, like, falls to the floor and is, like, pounding the ground. But I can't show that off. I already died. Not losing more lives. Dr. Muckley's daughter, Nancy, was taken with Dr. Muckley. We went to the enemy's arms factory. Okay, I only got one of the, the four random bosses. Which I guess is okay, because the, uh, the fourth one is kind of hard. Might as well play it safely. This factory stage is kind of a pain. The enemy's flamethrowers are way better than yours. I'm not even going to pick that garbage up. Also, there's a conveyor belt here where they put exploding barrels on. I don't know what they were shipping. They were shipping dynamite. Yep! I don't like this situation. I have never once received Magician Lord. It's, it's on my list of stuff I want to do. I want to get a 1cc on it, but uh, it's not happening on this stream. I can, I'll t tell you that much. At least not tonight. It needs a needs a little more practice. baby. Look, we gotta show off sprite scaling wherever we can. As much as we can. That was SNK's modus operandi. Gotta make every point item scale in. Every grenade pickup. gonna make it seem like you're there. Also, these poor guys climbing the ladder. Not a well-thought-out plan. <laughs> oh, there might be items here. I forgot. Alright. I really hate this boss. I could lose a life here. Oh, no. No. 
my real enemy. We'll never know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. That fucking poison gas barrel. This fight gets easier once you take out one of the... one of these brothers guys. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh-oh. Am I gonna roll into that? Ah. down. You can leech points here by shooting the barrels, but it's very boring. Let's we'll shoot Nancy. Tell us, how do you know our plan? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, wait, I know, I know. Your communications have been intercepted because... Enemy's commander was hit by a sniper, but we still sniper with an assault rifle. The laser weapon Dr. Muckley is building is near completion at the enemy camp. We went to the enemy camp, even though we knew it would be dangerous. <coughs> uh, no electric boogaloo. If you stick this game in slot one on a multi-slot cabinet, it'll just use the Neo Geo boot up screen on whatever's on slot two. And different games do have different jingles for the uh, the startup screen, so as we'll see with the next game. Every Alpha Denshi ADK game was like a slightly different Neo Geo jingle. Oh god! If it's a one-slot cabinet, then yeah, the Neo Geo screen's never going to show up. Anyway, this is the last stage, and I'll just. Uh, I'll just mention it now, one of the most no notorious things about this game is that when you get to the stage, or rather, when you get to the last boss, there's three phases to the last boss, and once the last phase starts, it completely cuts off continues. There is no warning before this. You have no idea it's going to happen. The game just rudely cuts off continues and laughs in your face by giving you a bad ending. And the final, the final phase of the last boss is not simple. It's not the easiest thing in the world. You're not gonna figure it out on your first try, and like you're gonna want to like try again, but you'd have to like start over unless you have a memory card. If you have a memory card and saved on the stage six, you can try again. I think that's how they wanted you to buy a memory card. Anyway, that enemy just gave me a gave me a one up. I'm just saying this now because I'm not going to have time to explain it when the, the boss shows up. Come here, Chris. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. God, these guys take a lot of hits. Also, the amount of ammo you have for the Balkan gun here, like, kind of glitches out. It, like, freezes and you have infinite ammo before the boss. I don't know why, but I'm not gonna question it. Oh, some women are tied up. Oh, plot twist! Good luck! No one can stop me! Dr. Muckley was evil. And he's got a sick wheelchair. See, I can still continue here. It says insert coin on the on the player two side. Plot twist number two. Those are the snipers, I guess. Uh-oh. I almost got hit by that. Doing this all wrong. Okay. And here we go. Insert coin. Game over. 
So, it's firing cannonballs, and it fires another shot that you just have to, like, sidestep. It's just a matter of, like, keeping a rhythm. It's just the first time you see this, that, that new shot is gonna, it's gonna hit you. You're not gonna know about it. It's cheap as fuck. So you may you mainly just focus on where the uh, where the cannonballs are landing, and do a little little tiny micro dodges to dodge the other shot. Roll when you gotta roll. And there we go. What's you see? Only one death. And of course the ending I never saw in the arcade. Operation completed. Dr. Muckley intended to destroy the world. <laughs> I gotta lower the sound on those alerts. <laughs> Thank you, impending disaster. Now we are called heroes. But the hell continues. It's at least some kind of ending. It's better than Time Soldier's ending. Senior Lieutenant. Yeah, there was one death on stage four. Dachi P. Fuck you, P. The bad ending is uh, Dr. Muckley starts laughing and goes, <laughs> The world is mine! And then he blows up the earth. <laughs> it's totally a BBH ending. And then he laughs afterwards. I, I actually, up, if you search YouTube for Nam 1975 bad ending, it's, it's on there. Yeah, two hours in, and I finally won CC the game. Summer, 1975. Fucking super spy. A nightmare awaits me. I am being recalled to Nautorn headquarters. Do I have but yeah, to go I love this game. Hell again? I've played it way too much. I get yeah, I guess I can I can show this. Yeah, there's no uh there's no Neo Geo startup screen here. It'll just it'll just keep doing this this demo over and over, but it never shows the uh the Neo Geo startup graphic. I'm being recalled to not torn headquarters. So let me load up like a Do I have to go back Let me simulate like loading up a two slot with uh with this and Nam Night or Ninja Combat, which is the next game.